Hi there, my name is Steve Gearhart, and as always, this is the Unagi Observer. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching the video. Appreciate it that you do. And uh, this week we're going to talk about something that I've actually talked about in the past. I just kind of want to take a, a slightly different approach to it today. <clears throat> it's one of those things where it's just kind of like, huh, I haven't watched this terrible thing in a while. Maybe I'll watch it again and see if I can glean some new information. Didn't. Still stand by my initial review of it. But I kind of had a burning question as to... Why does this exist? Okay, so what are we going to be talking about? Was this terrible anime that I'm kind of wondering why it exists and why I'm going to posit a theory to you as to why it exists? The anime in question is, of course, called Charge Man Ken. Okay, so you've probably gone online or you've gone to a convention and it has that title of the worst anime ever made. And... Charge Man Ken is usually on that list, and they usually reference an episode that happened way um, towards the end of the series where uh, Ken's little sister, I believe, listens to a record that has a subliminal message on it, and she goes off the rails and starts screaming, I must kill Big Brother, and she's charging at him with a freaking butcher's knife that is larger than she is. Um, it's quite funny to watch, and then a little bit horrifying realizing that this is a children's anime <laughs> from 1974 um but usually that's that's what we know of charge man ken um i'm not going to give you a review um because i've already done that and it is a terrible anime and i still stand by that and uh i would tell you that if you don't need to watch this then don't but if you're looking for your otaku historical anime merit badge then you should probably watch it because it does have some historical value in terms of wow how did they get away with making such a bad anime horrible anime um what is good as brent would ask um <laughs> from anime archaeology but this is really logistically um stylistically a, a, a terrible anime it truly is and so why does it exist why 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 do we have this thing that ran for 65 episodes on the japanese tbs network station in the 1970s why why did how did this happen um i have some theories i have some theories um and to before i get into those theories i just kind of want to talk a little bit about the production of chargeman ken which was there almost wasn't any production of Charge Man Ken, meaning that the staff that was in charge, I believe it was, uh, I'm going to have to look at my notes here, Knack Studios, is that is that right? Am I getting that right? Um, yeah, Knack Productions uh, was the one um, studio that, that produced this. Um, the staff had come off of a giant robot anime, which was fairly popular, and they were told to make um, Charge Man Ken. And the animators kind of took one legit look at it and said, okay, fine, it's a mediocre story. Boy defends planet Earth from aliens. Okay, it sounds like everything else that's on television. Great. Okay, another one of these. What's our budget? 500,000 yen. That's it. Keep in mind, in 1974, a 25-minute episode would cost between four, uh, 3 and 4 million yen. So they're <laughs> tasked with creating an episode at 500,000 yen, which means that they could only come up with somewhere between six and 10 minutes of episode. And that's it. That's all they could come up with, with, with that budget. The staff was so disillusioned by this and they were, as as rumors have said, and I'm gonna use the words of other people, apathetic towards their own product, that the rumor is that they just sometimes would just go, ah, let's go to the beach instead of dealing with this. I can't, I can't, I can't do this today. Let's go to the beach. So apparently that was a thing. They went to the beach instead of making this this anime. <coughs> now, <coughs> excuse me. Keep in mind that you know in 1974 the 2D cell um, animation of that time was 70s animation. So there you go. Chargeman Ken animation was bad. It was 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 like seriously not. They just didn't spend any time. They didn't have a budget. It feels like sometimes that it's just all key animation, and it, it may very well have been. It's very stilted. It's not very well done. The the character designs are very generic. Um, the villain is a villain that you see in all the different anime of that period from another world. You know how it is. The bat-looking helmet uh, hood type thing with the long nose. You get the idea. So, no one had any 
oomph behind it. The studio, the production studio didn't really care. The animators didn't really care. Um, TBS was just kind of like, whatever. Here's If that's what 500,000 yen gets us, then that's what 500,000 yen gets us. So one of my theories is that this is simply a fluff piece. That it is literally existed to... Um, fill a time slot which was 5.30 to 5.40 what happens in life between 5.30 and 5.40 dinner is probably being made you shove your kid in front of the television um, you know stuff is going on where people might be distracted by other things maybe they're actually eating the dinner stuff like that so they want to have enough programming on just to have it so that the, so the channel can continue and maybe to keep some type of level of interest from anyone who might be watching it. So the production, the animators, everybody involved, even the, the voice acting crew is listed as a acting troupe and not really, I don't think there's any specific names that, that comes out of it. So it's a very tepid anime made just, I think really just to fill a certain time slot and that's it. That's, that's the whole reason why it existed. Now <clears throat> you go and you look at it and you go, okay, well, there has to be more, uh, you know, there, there, there has to be an, another reason to this. And I can tell you it's not merchability. So there's no merchandise. There's no merch to this. Now, you look at the show and you go, well, maybe you can make a lunchbox. Okay. Maybe you can make a Halloween costume out of it. Okay. If you happen to be a big fan of Charge Man Ken. Maybe. Not sure how many kids are going to buy something that they're really not going to watch. But who knows? Maybe. Um, maybe some tchotchke stuff, like a keychain or something. Um, there is, Chargeman Ken does have a particular vehicle that he drives with this weird little whirly geek thing on the top. Maybe there was a toy, I don't know. Um, it, I tried to look up old merch of this, and the, the only thing I could find was a mug. And I'm not sure that was even made at that time, and it wasn't made until the 2000s. So... Charge Band, you know, you're going to say, well, there's Charge Band Ken merch out there right now. Yes, that is true, because it was reissued in 2007 as a two uh, DVD box set. And so people were are being ironic when they get the Charge Band Ken mug, the t-shirt, the hologram t-shirt. You get the idea. It's more of a <coughs> merch is now to be ironic kind of thing. You know, it's almost like being an anime hipster. So anyway, um, so it's not the merchability. So what else could possibly be the reason why this thing went on for 65 episodes? Well, what's interesting is that, is that when you take a look at the, the history of it, um, you take the history of the, of the manga, and the manga goes from... There's there's two different um, um, uh, people who are writing, actually, Chargeman Ken. And their manga series kind of goes along the same period of time. One is March 74 to August 1974. Another version is April 1974 to July 1st, 1974. So we think that maybe the anime bridges those two versions of Charge Man Ken. I'm not 100% sure. But Charge Man Ken, uh, the actual anime, goes from April 1st, 1974 to the end of June for 65 episodes. So clearly the manga went on a little bit longer for one of the versions. Maybe the existence of the anime was, to, again, to bridge those two versions, or maybe to have it just go long enough to have the manga, the two mangas, go long enough to find an end to their story cycle. Because apparently the manga did better than the anime. Sometimes you know, sometimes things are better in manga form than they are in anime form, and I think this might be the case. So that is my other theory on why Charge Man Ken actually exists. Um, and that's what I got for you. Um, again, Charge Man Ken, terrible anime. Um, don't waste your time watching it unless you want to have a fun time looking at something really awful. You know, make fun of it, make a meme out of it, uh, make a make a comedy AMV out of it, <laughs> something I don't know. Um, or you can be ironic and buy the merch of something that's very, very terrible. Um, so yeah, there you go. Those are my theories. Uh, it fills the time slot and it was just helping the manga prolong enough, go along enough to find a certain end for their series. Um, so yeah, that's all I got. Okay, so that is my guess as to why Charge Man Ken existed. That it's really basically trying to 
um, help the manga find an end to their series and um, acting as filler for network television. Uh, that's that's the best I can come up with. Uh, speaking of filler, so at the end of this month, there will be a filler video simply because life gets in the way sometimes. And uh, I'm doing inventory at my job on that particular Sunday, and that, that takes a lot out of me with that and, and doing other, other anime-related stuff. So you'll get a filler video. Don't worry. You get something. It'll be fine. It'll be okay. You'll get, you'll get, it won't be Chargeman Ken, I assure you. Um, but it, you will get something at the end of the month. In October, um, it looks like I'm going to Anime USA. Um, I'm not sure if I'm, some of my panel um, um, you know, pitches are going to be finalized and if I'm going to be doing panels at Anime USA. But if I am, I will let you know. That's in uh, mid-October. I believe that's the 11th through the 13th of October. And if I've got any panels up, I'll let you guys know. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of it for this week. Please meet us over at Anime Archaeology or the Twitch. Um, the links will be down below. Uh, every Sunday around 7 o'clock we go online. We talk about old anime and we uh, do a deep dive in some of these things. So please join us there. And, um, as always, please take care of yourselves. You know, there's some nasty bugs going on out there. And, of course, always COVID. So take care of yourselves because I love you guys and I want to see you at conventions if possible. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it. And as always, <gasps> watch more anime.